So at the top of this hotel wall in Mexico, they use broken glass. And my assumption is that is to keep people from coming in. And as I was thinking about this, I realized how often brokenness is utilized to keep people out, right? When we're angry, when we're sad, when we're mad, you know, and when we're feeling broken, we have these defense mechanisms. And what it ultimately mostly does is it, it keeps people out. It keeps away love because we're afraid of that because that can ultimately hurt us. And so what a great visual to see. And so I encourage you to maybe spend some time looking at your heart and seeing where your broken glass is and just really asking yourself if it needs to be there. You know, of course, there are spaces that we need to protect ourselves. There are people we need to protect ourselves from. But ultimately, when we walk around broken and we're giving off that energy, we're protecting ourselves not only from bad things, but from good and amazing things. So just taking the opportunity to spend some time in your heart and in your soul and just asking yourself, what is my brokenness protecting me from? And does it still need to? Am I still feeling the way I felt when I created this broken glass around my heart? Or am I stronger now? Am I more capable? Is it okay to soften? that piece of me because you're all just so deserving of so much love <laughs> don't let your brokenness stop good things from coming in okay I love you all <laughs>